Edward Montawine is suing his former friend, Patricia Flores, for stealing his work tools and loss of income. Mr. Montawine, when did you go to live in the defendant's house? That was that in April of this year? Yes. Were you homeless at the time? Yes. And you knew her from the mobile park home where yes. she lived? Yes. She said you could come and live in her home, or stay in her home. You were going to be doing some work for her. Yes. In the mobile home? Yes. She also has a shed, and you moved some things into her shed. Correct. She didn't charge you any rent. No. She let you move in in April. Where did you sleep? I slept on the front room floor. When exactly did you move in in April? I had moved in between the first and the third. Immediately prior to that, where was your last home? My last home would be at Space in that mobile home park. What happened to that home? I finished with it. What do you mean you finished with it? I lived in the mobile home. I finished it, moved on to the next one. Finished it, moved on to the next one. So what you do is you go in and do work in the house? Yeah, the houses are empty when I move in. Who pays you to do the work? My boss. But you and their boss had a falling out? Yes. What was that about? Money. That he said you took from him or that he owed you? No, well, he owed me. Did he ever give you the money? No. Then the first line of your complaint would be incorrect because the first line of your complaint says, in April of this year, I was sent to Patricia's home by my former employer to do some work. That's how I met Patricia. In April, you were sent by this boss that you had had a fight with who fired you to sorry, her I'm, house? I must have the dates mixed up. I'm sorry about that. That's what it says. When I met Patricia, I was came over to fix either, a, I, it might have been the steps or the loose banister or whatever was at the was her concern at the time. And I'd go over there and, I, and that's what I did. I fixed it and I left. Okay, and she had a few Then concerns. you had a fight with your boss? Yes. So after you had done some initial work for her? Yes, ma'am. You, time passed. Yes. And then you went back. Is that correct? Did he do some initial work for you at some point prior to April of this year? Yes. What kind of work did he do? He came and looked at my swamp cooler, but it never got fixed. He did fix a belt on it, but he didn't fix the motor and the pads. The back door he didn't fix, finish fixing. He didn't finish fixing the plumbing under the sink in the bathroom. He duct taped it. When was this? In what month? Um, I moved there February 14th of this year. So since February 14th till the end of April, when he came into my home, there was odds and ends of things that had to be fixed. So he was in and out of your home. Why mm. don't you tell me why you let him move in and sleep on the floor in your home? Because at the time he was sleeping in a shed by his daughter's house and it was like just enough room for a blanket and a pillow. And so I said he can store his stuff. I had, wasn't using my storage and I have a fenced in yard, a small, a small gate. And so I let him use that to keep his stuff in there or whatever. He did sleep in there because when I wasn't home, I don't let anybody in my house, but I found later they were. But I would let him sleep on the floor in the living room along with his daughter and his son would come over and sleep there and eat there and take showers. Well, that sounds as if she was very nice to you. She was very nice to me. Then why would you think she would steal your tools, which is what you're alleging?